Hi guys, in our previous video we have seen the different types of built-in pipes, the most commonly used built-in pipes in Angular we have seen it. Now it's time for us to learn one of the uh, concept that is nothing but custom pipes. So for example, if you want to create your own pipe means then what we will try to do. So not nothing but we will create a new custom pipe. So that means in Angular, uh, the Angular will allow us to create a custom pipe also. Normally what we can see, what why we want to create a custom pipe. Creating custom pipes is to encapsulate the transformations that are not provided with the built-in pipes. So the concept or the requirement which are which is not provided by the built-in pipes means then we, we then there is only option that we need to create a custom pipe. Then use your custom pipe in template expressions the same way you use the built-in pipes to transform the input values to output values for the display. So the same way how we are using the built-in pipes with the same the same way we can use the, our created custom pipes in our Angular template expressions. So fine. So how to create a custom pipe? Let's try to create. So now normally we can create a pipe. So normally we can make any class as a pipe to mark as a class as a pipe and supply configuration metadata apply the added pipe to the class. So that means so what you will try to do for example, let's say that the greet pipe you I want to create a greet pipe. Here I am creating a new file and I am using greet dot pipe dot ts. So this is the file I am creating why because this is a pipe. So that's why I have given extension of pipe.ts. Fine. So now here I am creating export class greet pipe. And here the class name should be upper ca upper camel case. Okay. So we need to use the upper camel case, the general convention for the class names for the pipe class name. And we need to use the camel case for the corresponding name string. The name of the pipe we need to give the camel case. Do not use hyphens in the name. So now this is the class. So for in order to convert this one to a class, so we need to use the pipe decorator so this pipe decorator should be imported from the angular core so now we need to use something like here the options should be standalone okay standalone should be true so that it can be used it anyway and also we need to give the name so name i told you right it should be a camel case letter so here i will be using the greet that's it so now that's it so this is the class which we have converted into a pipe now we need to use the pipe transform in interface. So what is this one? Implement the pipe transform interface in your custom pipe class to perform the transformation. By using this implementation of this pipe transfer interface, Angular invokes the transform method with the value of a binding as the first argument and any number of parameters as the second argument in the list form and returns the transformed value. So here what you will try to do. So here we need to implement the pipe transform okay so pipe transform this also imported from the angular core so when you implement this interface so the greet pipe will ask you to implement a method that is nothing but transform method okay so transform method so if you try to see here this one is the first value the value that is bind to the first argument the, with the value of binding as a first argument and here these are all the n number of parameters that you will be sending as a second argument so here we don't have any parameters i am removing this one the value which i will be trying to send is a string and the return value for this one will be a string only. So here I will be sending only the return. So, and I will try to append the value. So whatever the value you are trying to use it. So we are writing it like this. Now if you want to implement this one. So first what we need to do it is. So here we need to import this grid pipe. So I am importing this grid pipe. Here we need to import this grid pipe. And if you want to use this one. So here I will be having a text that is nothing but my name I will take it. Okay, and I want to apply the greet means then I can directly use the greet here. That's it. Now if you try to see here, we are able to see the hello Leela. So that means the text which you are trying to send uh, use it. So we are transforming the input using the greet pipe and the greet pipe will take the data. That is nothing but in the, uh, where is this one? Yeah, here in the value and it will append the hello and all those things and it will return the value to here. So that's why you are able to get the hello Leela. So this is how this is a simple pipe how we will be implementing in the angular 18. So now how we can send the parameters. So the, how the parameters will be sent. For example, let's say that I will be using something like uh, uh, what I want today is exponential. So for example, let's say that here I am having a uh, two value. So I want to get the two to the power of 10. So normally what you will do here like this, you will try to apply. Then you will be able to see two to the power of 10 means. So here you'll be able to see uh, sorry 2 to the power of 10 means so i don't know this one you need to apply or what so okay 2 to the power of 10 i want to apply math.pow we can use it but here we cannot use this math.pow and all those things as i already told you math dot 
power we cannot use these things so these things is not will not be working 2 to the power of 10 so i cannot use this one so what i need what i need to do so here we can use a pipe transform so how can i do it is so let's try to create an another pipe now here i will be using exponential strength dot pipe dot ts so like this i will create and this is our simple class exp export class exponential strength pipe okay so this is the pipe we are using and here you can do it like this i need to add the pipe symbol here pipe okay and for this one i will add standalone true and the name for this one is exponential strength strength that's it so now here i need to apply the transform so implements pipe transform oh sorry i need to use pipe over oh, here this one is wrong so that's why it is not implementing implements pipe transform so i have implemented this one so if you want then you need to implement the method so here i want to implement the method so that is nothing but transform so this is the method i am using and here the value you know that it will be returning the number and the argument also that is nothing but the exponent so exponent value you will be returning the number this one is also we will be returning it as number and the return value will be the number okay and in this one what i will try to do here i will return math dot pow okay of value comma exponent that's it so now we are returning the value now i can use this exponential strength strength wherever we want so here i can import this one exponential exponential strength pipe okay i have imported this one and here in our app component html so here i want to have 2 to the power of 5 let's assume so here i can use exponential strength and i need to pass the 2 to the power of 5 means 5 i need to pass it that's it now if you try to see the output here we will be able to see the output see 32 2 to the power of 5 is 32 and if i implement 2 to the power of 2 means then you will be able to get 4 answer and if i try to implement 10 means 1024 or something like that you will get an answer see so in this way we can also send the parameters to the pipe and we can implement this exponential strength so this is how we will be creating a new pipes in our uh, custom pipes in our angular 18 so this is one of the important thing which you need to understand and another thing which before closing of the session so you need to understand the pipe precedence in the uh, template expression sometimes you want to choose between the two values based on some conditions before passing the choice to the pipe you could use a javascript operators like ternary operator to the template expression something like for example let's say that we are having some conditions so for example uh, where is this our app component yeah let's say that we are having some conditions like this condition is there means question mark a or b and i want to apply a pipe to this one so here you need to understand beware of this one is the pipe operator has a higher preference than the javascript ternary operator so that means the javascript ternary operator pipe has a higher preference now this one will be in such a way that the code will be transformed it is parsed as in such a way that here like this it will be transformed so that means condition will be there and b will be the value will be passed as a pipe so which which is not the expected behavior what you want it so the value of the p passes through the pipe the value of a will not if you want the pipe to apply to the result of this ternary operation if you want to apply the pipe to the result of this ternary operation means wrap the entire expression in the parenthesis for example something like this so you need to wrap it here something like this so here condition a column b and you need to apply pipe in general you should always use parenthesis to be make sure that angular evaluates the expression as you intend so this is one thing which you need to keep it in mind hope you understood about this custom pipe in the next video we will try to see about the change detection how the change detection will happen with the pipes so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you